coming to America. Yeah, man. Back when being black in America actually meant something. Thanks, Barack. Um, this was the end all be all. This was so hyped and so, you know, just cherished within the black American community because it really was like all the nonsense that they talk about these days with black excellence. Like, oh, yeah, Angela Roy is black excellence. The fight back, she's mulatto. Yeah. All that other nonsense, all that nonsense is completely negated by the fact that we've had the excellence up there up for display for oh so many years oh so many generations i literally went to see this in the theaters with my family okay so this was a huge deal and this i think this was like 88 89 and this was like everything that they claim to want to strive for are benchmarks so like when i say they i mean like you know the media and the entire hype machine that sits there and talk about oh black and black and black and black and black and not truly making any distinctions of the difference between the descendants and you know those who came here two weeks ago trevor noah so yeah like this right here this was it you may not be familiar with it you may not know but this right here was the jam bruh and it still is this and Harlem Knights are probably two of and I know I understand that they're comedies, but that's the thing about being a descendant and being of this nation is that that's how we really that's how we reflect our pain. You know, they like we were we weren't kings and queens here, but in Zamunda, you know, the fictionalized um, nation uh, that wasn't before Wakanda. Wakanda was made before uh, was made before Zamunda. But as far as on screen goes, like everything you're trying to give us, we already gotten. And all of the nonsense that they push out these days in 2020 is, you know, just something that some producers thinks and some producer thinks sounds good. And, you know, we want to get people. It's all about more emotional driven. Whereas, you know, back then, this actually was a big deal. Like you guys just weren't here for it. So, you know, there's a scene in this video, in this movie. Sorry, and that's what I'm basing this video around. It's a club scene. As I mean, clear, they're in a club. I mean, this is par this is nicer than any of the fucking clubs I've ever gone to. <laughs> We're all packed in at that point in the in the nineties and um in the nineties, yeah, we were all packed in. But you know, this is like late eighties, um, mid to late eighties. But either ways, if you're unfamiliar with the story, Prince Akeem has to choose a wife. He has a beautiful option. I mean, oh my God, you know, she was bad. Arr, 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 the, the bark and shake. He has a beautiful option back home, but he's like, you know what? Nah, I want an American for some strange reason. And so where do you go to find a queen in America? Well, Queens, New York, of course, in the mid eighties. Cause <laughs> that's not like finding a needle in a haystack. So he's out in the um, club scene, you know, we out here checking out for the ladies. And let's see what him and his boy, uh, Arsenio Hall, comes across. <laughs> Just to be, just so we're all on the same page here, yes, I will be cutting in quite a bit because it is a still a film and it can get copyright claimed. So let's not make no mistake. But oh, we see a light skinned baddie at the bar. Go holla, my G. Okay. I've got a secret. I wish it was the devil. I believe her. <laughs> I completely believe her. And honestly, guys, I think that's a lot of secrets. I think this, honestly, I think this scene is red pill as fuck, bro. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> She's like, I worship the devil. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at our senior hall face, though. He's like, okay, shit, I'm, I'm down. What up? See, that's the problem. I can't find a man that can satisfy me. Yeah, and oh wow, <laughs> have we run into a trope these days, haven't we? <laughs> Somebody come get your nana. I can't run into a man that can satisfy me. Yeah, big girl. Oh my goodness. And the crazy part is, is that all of these, everything you're about to witness, all these types of females are the exact same ones still running around here today. <laughs> Some guys go hour, hour and a half. That's it. A man's got to put in overtime for me to get off. 
Yeah, you gotta bring one of those uh, chain, chain, um, the 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 gas starter uh, vibrators with you. <laughs> you gotta crank that bitch. You gotta like yeah, like and honestly, and thusly, that's the female mind. I mean, she's being honest. Gotta appreciate it. But at the end of the day, then what's the point? Like I, I like I ain't looking. Like I I don't I understand that every single female, you're you're snowflakes. You all need special attentions and special things to get you to squirt. But <laughs> when you say it, talk about like yeah, I need an hour and some change and and all different types of devices and like nah, yeah, we good. I'm not interested in a man unless he drives a BMW. You know what? Can you be mad at her though? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna go back. We gonna go back to her right quick. Here she is. Can you be mad though? All right, she put like this is honestly like I'm not interested in like yo. I need that dude that got that bread. I'm bad as hell. Which pop now he got the bread, but yeah, ladies, this is a very clear indicator that just just being so out 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 front about it for most guys will not want. Nah, we good. But you gotta appreciate the honesty though. That ass, you gotta appreciate the honesty, and she bad. A man, unless he drives a BMW. Yeah, well, you know, baby, I'm almost single. My husband's on death row. Oh, what a hood booger! That like you saw, you saw how she was chomping up. Oh my goodness, we can go. Wow, there's so much in this scene. Like, okay, so peep, uh, so peep the posture, peep how masculine she's acting, and she's chomping on the my my, my husband on death row absolutely no qualms with what's in it. this is why these are the chicks that they completely that like yo we were taught this in this film to ignore to, to, to just dust off these broads but i mean unfortunately not enough brothers got the um this wasn't really for the brothers for the most part i think it was like you know oh yeah little girl you can become a princess by all means baby i'm almost single my husband's on death row this is the first date Teresa and I have been on since the doctor separated us. That that is not disqualifying, okay? Where's the scars? I mean, and honestly, I, like like where's the scars? How 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 jacked up are they? If the <clears throat> If it, you know, if it was some little something that's not too like you know grotesque. I mean, yo, this this actually is a solid double. Huh? <laughs> like, this is a very solid double. I'm into the group thing. I ain't gonna stunt though. Like, <laughs> like I, I mean, cool, but so you know, honestly, she's just a petri dish. But the, uh, what what happens to us when um. When 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 the, when the chesticles is on screen, we kind of just say we don't care because like we're I bet nah, that's why you gotta love Arsenio Hall in this. It's the group thing. <laughs> Actually, I was like, oh, what? I'd have definitely, I definitely would have uh, been like, uh, let me get your number. We'll figure something out, yeah. Like, yo, yeah, you, you bring a group of your female friends. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. Wow. My name is Jesus, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to feel my breast. And honestly, no female rapper has rapped about anything else ever since. That's it. That's it. Wow. All of rap for the past 30 years, all female rap for the past 30 years wrapped up into one um, very quick and edible scene. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, I want to work in videos, but really I want to be my own star in the videos because I want to become a pop singer and a rock singer and write my own songs, produce my own songs. And then I'm going to try an actress because people tell me how talented I am. I'm a natural and stuff like <laughs> Cute airhead, cute airhead, just comp like all about completely narcissistic. She's she's just allowed the narcissist, and it's so boring. Look at her, like, oh my god. Uh -huh. So then I'm gonna write oh, my own stories so and direct good. my own stories, and you know, produce the movies <laughs> I'm doing. And we even got the tease now, didn't we? Even got the like, don't say, don't say. 
us as black folks don't represent haven't shown what's the name i mean yeah it's arsenio hall in the dress and that's a big part of you know hollywood is getting black men in them dresses but at the same time you know i mean it is what it is they did what i had to do to get this done and it's actually pretty hilarious <laughs> oh man where was this scene in black panther huh where was this scene in Black Panther? Where was this scene in um? Oh, uh, was that was that was the, like just like all all the other nutty stuff that they that these people nowadays try to sit there and slap black on and be like, oh, black pride and um in, in Wakanda and all that other nonsense. I'm telling you, if this if you ever took a picture with you with that freaking X around your, uh, X on your chest for Wakanda, seriously, seriously, ch check all your credentials. You know, go go hug your dad. All right, <laughs> seriously. But either ways, yo representation we've been doing it in Oz for forever in the day as far as descendants are concerned we we show everybody love because it's nobody because it's no big deal we sit here just trying to get along and honestly in too many cases in black america we've gotten along a bit too well and this is one of them Phobic. <laughs> no, it's comedy. It's jokes. Golly, you, you, you kids, your kids and your, 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 your Fortnites and your Minecrafts. You don't know what comedy is. Huh? I'm telling you, man. Like, yo, this is, this is amazing. But I thought that this would be a really good um, scene to just go over with you guys, man, and talk about the, all the different types that are still around to this very moment that were put on display in, um, in the, uh, in this one very, very poignant scene. All right. <laughs> Coming to America is a classic. You, it, uh, it, seriously, like, that's the thing that sucks about, like, all the new stuff is that it can only be derivative of what came before it and what came before it came at a different time so they could you know there, there was a lot more they'd be able to get away with there was a lot things were newer back then they're not new anymore so thusly people keep trying to up the ante and we've upped the ante a bit too far when it comes to the whole drag queen story hour alphabetical curriculum type stuff right so uh, balance guys balance old things so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like this also like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is scaring and youtube and bitch you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments um okay so me like just like it, uh, like okay yeah because I, I dropped the black flag, but I'm still a black dude. And when it comes to black movies, this and Harlem Nights are like, you know, my, my like my Casablanca and um, <laughs> what's the other one? What's, what's the other classic, classic movie that they had out there with Rosebud? I can't remember the name of it, but either way is uh, Citizen Kane. Yeah, this, like this is my, my Harlem Nights and Coming to America are my Citizen Kane and Casablanca of just my life, all right? But hey, what are yours? What are the, what are some of the more influential and, um, you know, poignant movies to you? Mine just happen to be comedies. I'm, I like to be funny. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your choices are in the comments. And until the next one.